All right, congratulations on purchasing the do-it-yourself Bantine jig. This is gonna open up a lot of opportunity for you to really grow and explore slingshots and see all that they have to offer. So, just gonna go over with you today what you got in your kit and how to use it. So the kit consists of the jig. You'll receive two spools of tying material. One is a tape, the other one is a type of string. You'll receive six small pouches and six larger pouches as well as a set of hemostats and five packages of latex strips. For this first band tie, we're gonna set it up in what folks refer to as an over-the-top setup. So here we're using the bands for the 5 16th steel ammo. I would prefer to use the smaller pouch for that. You don't necessarily wanna use a pouch much larger than your projectile. This size is great for up to about 3 8 So for the over-the-top configuration, we're gonna fold the band once in this orientation. And we'll insert it through the hole. And once we have it through, we can see our orientation here. We're gonna to wanna to bring through about half to three eighths of an inch. As you get better at this, you'll be able to use less and less material. But let's go ahead and come through about half of an inch. And then we're gonna fold it back, maintaining that nice, tidy fold. Then we're gonna hold it in position here. And once we've got it in position, we're simply just gonna pinch it with this hand until we can come around with our hemostats. Now the hemostats are covered in latex to prevent you from bruising the latex from squeezing too hard. These hemostats are gonna act just as your fingers do so you can free up your fingers to go ahead and make the tie. So we're gonna clamp right in the middle of the hemostats, right in the middle of the section, making sure that we maintain those nice folds and clamp it in place. Now you need just enough clamping force to hold this in place as you bring it under tension. Now remember, we have a very high coefficient of friction between two layers of latex. So you don't necessarily have to clamp the clamps down all the way through. One click usually does it. So now we've got our band set up to prepare to tie. At this point, we're gonna to need to bring the jig into play. Figure out which hand you like to work with. So this component of the hemostat is gonna fit in here. And then you're gonna place the hole of the pouch through this pin here. And we're gonna go ahead and bring it under tension. Now what we're looking for here is we're looking for not that much stretch. So we can see the point of this jig here is to give it a stretch and hold it in that position while we can then tie it. This is far too much what we call pre-stretch. This will decrease the life of the band. So we're gonna go ahead and tune this tool before we continue further. To tune the amount that this stretches, we need to change the length. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna lengthen this so that when we come into the locked position, we have not moved it as far. So we're gonna extend this. And we'll try one more time. Bringing it under tension. All right, that's much better. So what we're looking for is about a quarter to three eighths of an inch of stretch. So now we have the pouch attached to the latex and stretched and in position and ready to be tied. We've got two choices of tying material here. Both work great and both tie in the same way. For this one, we're gonna use the string. We've got a lighter weight band set here on lighter rubber with a lighter pouch. So we're gonna cut off a piece, oh, just long enough to be able to easily manipulate. You can see this is stretchy. We're gonna use that stretch to our advantage. So to tie the band in, we wanna make sure that this is tied in close to the pouch. So we're gonna begin by coming upwards and we're gonna make some wraps. Between each wrap, make sure you're keeping tension on the rubber. This is very spongy and give it a few more wraps. After you've done about three to four wraps, depending on the thickness of the band, you wanna do an overhand knot and then another overhand knot or a square knot for you Boy Scouts out there. 
Now, it seems that this is just too simple, but really, that's it. This side is now attached. So we can release the pressure on the clamp and take the hemostat off. And we see we have a nice tie-in. Next thing we're gonna do is do the exact same thing on the other side to have a completed band set assembly. With all things in slingshot shooting, you wanna be consistent. So if you brought three eighths of an inch of the tag end through the last time, do it the same way this time. Get in the habit of making everything balanced. And there you go. You have one completed band set assembly. So one thing you want to do before you start shooting your slingshot is take some time to clean it up. Double check and make sure everything's lined properly together, that it looks nice and neat, that you don't have any unnecessary material like these little ears here. Those can be trimmed right off. And then all you got to do is put it on your slingshot and go enjoy it. So one completed band set assembly, all yours. Don't fret tube shooters, we got you covered too. You can absolutely tie together tube band sets with this jig. Now, it doesn't come with any tubing. You have not received any tubing, so this is not a part of the product, but let me show you how to put the tubes onto a pouch. So st we're gonna start first with a single strand. A lot of folks like to shoot single strand tubes with smaller ammo. It's the exact same method as flat band. In fact, it's almost easier. It's much easier to get it through the hole. You wanna bring it through the exact same amount, but not nearly as critical with a tapered flat band because this tube is the exact same diameter for its entire length, and it could always be trimmed from the end without unbalancing the system. We're gonna go ahead and clamp it in place, put it on our jig, bring it under tension. Oh. So once you have it clamped in place, just like your flat pin, put it on the jig, give it a stretch. And this time we're gonna tie it in with the tape. Now you can certainly use this material as well, but we're just gonna demonstrate the tape. Again, just like last time, cut off a piece that's long enough for you to easily manipulate. You're really not using that much of it. This is more or less just a handle. And the same as last time, we're gonna wrap tight between passes. find the tape a touch more fiddly, but I feel like it provides a cleaner tie-in for tubes. And again, finish it with a square knot. If you're the type of person that just cannot stand waste, then start learning to work with really short pieces because as long as you can hold it, we've got two scrap pieces here that are more than enough to tie in a band. But it's cheap. It's Come back, clean up our tag ends. And we have one side attached. Now if we wanted to set it up for a tubular slingshot for a single strand, then we just simply add a tube on the other side. All right, so just to go over, what you receive in this kit is you get five packs of latex strips for ammo sizes between quarter inch and half inch. You receive 12 pouches, six small ones, six larger ones. You receive two spools of tying material, one being the crystal string, the other one being the tape. You receive the jig and you receive the hemostats. 
scissors are not included. So have fun learning more about how to tie your own bands. It's really going to open up a lot of opportunities for you to find more joy in slingshots. As always, if you enjoyed, like, comment, subscribe, and be sure to ring the bell if you want notifications.